Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 15th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the very important concept of update set, ServiceNow update set and we have uh, seen all those steps how you can move you know different changes uh, in update set and then you can move the update set from one instance of service now to another instance of service now right i've shown you each and every steps what you need to perform while transforming the data and what are the checks you need to do how you can connect with both the instance and we have learned a lot of other things right so if you miss that video guys don't worry i'm going to put the link on the description also you can find the link right now here on my screen all right now before starting today's video, I'm going to say like uh, we have completed the customization series. So let me go back uh, to the PowerPoint. So here, if you can see the customization under customization, we have learned about server side, client side and UI policies, UI actions, business rules, client scripts, data policies, and we have completed with update sets, right? So service now customization module has been completed successfully. Now, again, if you want to know more about service now customization beyond than my video, definitely there are more things that you can explore by your own. And another way would be to visiting the product documentation page of ServiceNow that is the docs.servicenow.com and here you can search about the you know different customization topic for an example I want to search about UI policy so you know you can get the result here like Google and you can open it and you can understand about UI policy how it is been created and all the fields that already we have discussed so you can get more information about UI policies from the ServiceNow product documentation page okay so now we are going to start let me get back to the PowerPoint so we are going to start our third module which is very very important one most crucial one I would say that is the tables and fields because we are going to deal with service now i mean you have already seen all this customization and basic understanding of service now we have understood service now is nothing but it's a database where all the records are stored uh, you know in a table right so that table we are going to learn about tables different tables their fields you can see fields and field type and next we will learn about table relationships so how different how tables are connected with different relationship like you know one to many or many to many and also like what are the extended table and uh, different fields of table and schema map and finally we'll create custom tables like our own table and we will uh, create the old you know our own value and fields like that right so it's gonna be very 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 interesting uh, series guys make sure you watch it and so let's start with today's video so today we are going to learn about tables service now tables and like i said few minutes back in service now the concept is pretty simple like all the records that you create or you store it stores in a database in a table and tables just like you know it stored the records right so let's see about tables so tables at the first point you can see a place where records are stored so all of the records like an incident record like we have created different incidents uh, in different videos you have seen the records like if you create a new user or group that will create in uh, you know later videos and all of them each and every record that you create it stores in a table table right and the table has rows and column like if I talk about a normal table it's not about only service now table if you talk about any database table so they have the rows and column and the rows re represent as a record like you know already we have discussed this uh, before uh, while in service now uh, basic understanding of service now have already discussed and the column is known as the field right so it's pretty important and field can be different type we have a video upcoming where we will discuss more about the field and field types but just to give you an idea service now fields have different different types so before moving into the next slide uh, let's take you to the service now and quickly see about a table and understand a few fields and stuff like that okay so i'm in my developer instance right now and i will go to the table and you know that uh, we can go to any of the table any table if you are looking for first we have to write the table name and then dot the list right also if you want to directly access the table view let me pin this up and if i just search about tables and you can see we have under system definition we have the name called tables tables module and we have table column also 
and different different things are there so i'll click on tables where you would get all the list of the tables which is available in this personal developer instance so you can see 4479 service now out of the box this is these all are the out of the box table right so this has already been there in service now we have not created any custom table which we are going to do after completion uh, completion of this table series right uh, so we have seen now we can see there are so many tables are available right now we can just unpin it and like I said you can see the number here and there are different kind of tables are available and also we have different um, some fields are there like the column like we have a name of the table table name and that's the label of the table now table name and the level of the table both things are different guys okay so the table name is different label means what you show for an example uh, user table user table is the level of the user table is user so it defines as a user table but if we want to search as a user table if you want to open the user table then we have to write the name of the user table which is sys underscore user sys is underscore user right let me show you so if i just type user table like user dot list nothing will open you can see the page you are looking for it could not be found because the name of the table is not user right so i will now go to the sys underscore user dot list now if you see now I get the user table. You can see this table's name is users, users table rather, name is users and the table is open now and we have different fields and stuff. Okay, so let's go back to the table modules. So you understand the label and the name is different. Okay, so now here I will search incident table, which level is also incident. So you can see we have incident table here incident and it extends the table task so we will understand about what is extends table so for the time being just understand incident table takes few different fields of task table okay so incident table use different fields of task table so it extends the task table right so now i'll open the incident label incident and you can see here so this is the incident table right you can see and we have different columns that we have already seen also let me open the incident dot so that you can understand by seeing the field so incident form so before going into this uh, table let me show you the incident form once you have seen it already in my previous videos so these are all the fields like number channel and that's it stores the value right okay so these are the different fields you can see which stores value like color field stores the color value and channel field stores a different kind of channel where the user is contacting right so don't worry we will understand about these fields we will see how these fields uh, you know uh, in the uh, field and field types video in the next video we will see uh, understand in detail all these things right so this is a basic uh, fields you can see and all the field details are stored in the incident table here you can see under columns you can see the caller columns is there category is there and the different things style incident resolution code all these things are there right and also we have controls here like you can see prefix start from inc so when you go to the incident you can see the number starts with inc because the prefix has mentioned as inc okay you can also mention to some default number here and also if i scroll down here you can see there are things like access controls i am this is the security th stuff of service now that we will learn in our all together in a different video where we will learn about the user groups roles okay so these are the access control list uh, we have the label which call incident here also we have some links like design form that we have no designing uh, layout list layout form we have already worked on it on incident table right so these are the things now let me quickly go back to the PowerPoint and let's understand these tables and the, you know, storing and, and the data about different fields, how it stores in service now. Let's get an idea. Okay, so now data dictionary tables. What is data dictionary tables? Now we are going to learn about three very important tables where all the data or information about tables are stored. Like if I talk about a field, like what type of field it is, what type of field it would be and what are the different actions that field will perform, what are the different values that field will store, that stores in a different table. Okay, uh, the tables itself, all the tables that stores in a different table in service now and also the table labels, right? So these all three items, let's let's understand it so it uh, data dictionary tables are the tables which contains information about a table right so service now tables 
all the tables like incident change all of the tables we have seen 4,479 tables right it all stores under this table sys underscore db dot object i'll show you just now next we have the information about a field like i was talking about like the different type of the field integer string and also what are the contain like for an example category under category we have different options so where these things are stored it stores under this sys dictionary table okay i'll show you all of this and finally the label of tables like the name of that label and also their plural values and also other information that we'll see it stores under the sys documentation table so these three tables are the data dictionary tables okay now let's go to each of this table and understand so we already understand about this incident table now uh, let me search here sys underscore db underscore object this is the name of the table dot list i want to see the list view of this table and you see so this is this opens kind of a same thing like uh, what we have opened the table module so under this tables it stores all of the under sys db object table it stores all the table and here i can also search about the incident table if you want to look and you can see we have the this three incident related table and we have this is our main incident table where we have the different columns that we have discussed like you can see color category and also you can see the type of it now this information about all the columns in our table in any table it's stored under the sys underscore dictionary table so i will go to the sys underscore dictionary dot list again and it will show me all of the things you can see different type of fields are there okay and there are 1,23,122 which is very common because you know there are different type of columns are available or fields are available in a table right an incident table you can see there are more than 60 fields are available and all their information are stored under the data dictionary table and here it is showing all of the tables are available in service now they are uh, fields information right so if i go to incident you would find you can see 44 different fields are there in incident right the category is there which is a string type uh sys id you can see business impact string type variable Re reopen time in an incident which is a date time variable caller id hold reason caller id which is a reference type hold reason integer type so you can see different type of variables are there in the incident table and you know these are the variables which is telling about this information okay so for an example if i open here any of this thing right like uh, for an example category so if i open category here so you can see the column label is category it is a string type variable which is a store a string value you know the text things and here and just for an example if i go to the incident form you can see under category we have this option like none first inquiry software hardware network so if i go here on the category and scroll down you can see under choices we have inquiry software hardware network database you can see right right and if i go to the default value you can see inquiry so if i go here you can see by default it is selected as inquiry so by this we will understand many different fields and how they are working how their dictionary is working uh, under the uh, dictionary field here right so that's we are going to see in the next video so don't worry on that so i'm just giving you an idea here now also let me show you data i'm um, sorry this is documentation table documentation table dot list so you can see the name of the table is field levels and the table like i said this is the field levels is the uh, is the label of the table that is the name of the table that you see and the actual table name is sys underscore documentation now here also let me go to the incident now why i'm showing you incident table all the things because so that we can follow a single table and understand each of these things of a table and then you can understand any of the table like you can practice it with a problem table or change table that won't create any problem now you can see different uh, level is there like color subcategory resolve let's open the subcategory and see what information we have under the fields label table you can see first it stores the table name then the label and the plural of the label like subcategory subcategories element language in which language it is written it is in english right and also you can put some hint or help 
and uh, URL if it redirects to anywhere, right? And also we have seen how we can check, you know, information about a table. So again, for an example, if I go to the incident table, incident dot list, and you want to see the table view, right, of incident table, like in which from which table it comes and what are the different fields and column you can just click on here and configure and table if i go to table you can see the level is incident name is incident that name of incident table and it extends from task table so we were discussing so incident table is extend the field from task table so you can see that there are different fields available here which is coming from the task table okay so we will learn about uh, different extending and uh, we will understand about how extend tables works and everything in the table relationship in upcoming videos right don't worry on that and we can see different forms different fields available here right so this is all about table guys so i hope you have understood about different tables um, and how they are working what are the different fields and where it stores and each and everything about it so don't miss out the next video guys because next video would be very very important where we will discuss about the field and field types right so this is it for today guys if you find it helpful hit the like button if you have any doubt or any question come in the comment section and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.